Lucas Media. So Canelo Alvarez talked to him and um, Jaime Mugia is going to fight. Now, Canelo defends his credentials. I'm on BoxingScene.com. Canelo, who's caught a lot of flack for fighting Mugia coming up because he said he would never fight another Mexican fighter, a.k.a. Benavidez. But he's defending Jaime Mugia's resume, and he has to say, quote, I said I wouldn't fight against a Mexican fighter, but someone respectful like Mugia, who's earned his chance, fight after fight, is something that I'm glad we're able to make happen. I hope everybody can see this. It's going to be great for everyone involved, and for Mexico in particular. Mugia is a disciplined guy. He really hits hard. He can be a power puncher. And I like the challenges. I want to go after the hungry fighters like Mugia, who want to give all inside the ring and give the fans what they deserve. I'm really proud of what's going on. It's going to be an amazing week, full of Mexican pride, full of fans out in the street showing their pride and being able to drape the flag all over the show. The world, what kinds of Mexicans can throw, what kind of party Mexicans can throw, both inside and outside the ring is going to be amazing. I can't wait. Now, he goes to keep talking about it, but I'm going to stop right here. Listen, Canelo, if you want to fight Jaime Mugia, fine, right? But why you can't fight David Benavidez as well? You really don't think the fight will be bigger with David Benavidez? And how you go from saying, I won't fight a Mexican guy, but I'll fight that Mexican that Mexican fighter? Man, fan of Canelo, but man, this cherry picking got to stop, honestly. It really got to stop. And whenever I make videos, I got people in my comment section. Oh, well, uh, the black fighters, man. Yo, you used to complain about the black fighters. Then he fought the black fighters. Well, he did. But you got to see when he fought him. Watch Andre Ward video about it. You got to see when he fought him and how those fighters were. None. He wasn't like he was fighting in 2017, 2018 when we was calling for the fights. Um, what Charlo was that? Jamel Charlo was... Was not, uh, just went up two weight classes. Jamal Charlo is now a shell of himself. You know, they, they didn't fight, but it was rumors. And then you say, I'm not going to fight another Mexican fighter. David Benavidez has been your mandatory for years. And you just not going to fight him. And the sanctioning body is not going to do nothing because they want them sanctioning fees. Now, Michael Benson did come out and say that Canelo uh, told reporters he wants anywhere between... 150 and 200 million dollars to fight David Benavidez saying you know um, basically he, he don't have nothing to prove by fighting him so that but so that's the only way they're gonna get him in the ring now 200 million ain't nobody gonna offer you that unless the people in Saudi Arabia but 200 million really 150 million so is that why you turned down to, allegedly you turned down to 50 million to fight David Benavidez? I don't know. I don't know. I this may be a fight that we don't see, unfortunately. Canelo sees Benavidez as somewhat of a threat. I've had people in my comments say that Benavidez being Benavidez isn't. But if he's not, let's see the fight. It, it can't be that difficult. You know, Canelo is an all-time great. He is a Hall of Famer, but why we can't see the mega fights that's out there? That fight will be humongous. Humongous. It might do 40, 50 million at the gate easily. But Canelo has his diehard fans who's going to defend him no matter what he does. You can't never say nothing about him. Yeah, at one point when he was him and Triple G, people play Triple Duck and Triple G. That's the only time after that. Didn't they create a franchise build and all that other stuff to appease Canelo? So his fans are really going to make excuses for him no matter what. So, I mean, whatever. He's going to fight Hyman McGee cool, but what, can we see the David Bennett beat this fight in September? You know, and, and I don't care what nobody say. I'm willing to pay for that fight. You know, that's how you support fighters. Don't you want to make the most money and have the best, the best fight on your resume at this moment? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?